G'day and welcome to MW Laser. My name is Matthew. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to install a relay to select between the Y-axis gantry and the Y-axis rotary attachment. Now it's common in these machines that uh, you need to decouple from this Y-axis stepper driver one of the connections to plug in the Y rotary attachment. So what we're going to be doing is installing a relay in there so that we can select between the Y-axis gantry and the Y-axis rotary attachment. Now on this machine, the red and black, it uses two phase stepper motors and drivers. So it has the pairs A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus. Now some machines do have a three phase motors, which are the connections UV and W. So I'm gonna show you towards the end of the video, if you have those other types of motors and drivers, how you can configure this same relay to select between the Y axis gantry and the Y axis rotary attachment, just with the flick of a switch, rather than the need to open your machine decouple a connection to plug in the other one. Now I have installed on several machines this uh, setup and it's been working well but one uh, setup that uh, I did come across where the manufacturer had installed both a three-phase closed loop stepper motor for the y-axis gantry and also a open loop or two-phase stepper motor and driver for the uh, y-axis rotary. And what the configuration there was was that from the control board, the customer would have to unplug the Y-axis connection from the main board and plug in the other Y-axis connection for the rotary attachment if they wanted to use that. So there's still a decouple and a recouple of that connection, which can cause wear and tear and cause you to knock other components out while you're doing that. So we've installed this uh, same setup on that machine and I'll show you toward the end of the video how we accomplish that with these same components. Now I'd just like to put this disclaimer in there that uh, this uh, wiring does require some level of skill and competence to be able to complete it and that many machines may be wired slightly different so you need to check the connections before you proceed. Now if you're unsure or not competent in doing wiring such as this then don't even attempt it but I will include the documentation that I have used and tested on the machines that I've installed it on and the link for that is in the description below. So let's have a look at the components. Now this one here is our relay switch or relay and it has a 24 volt coil which will switch between the y-axis rotary or the y-axis gantry. And uh, when it's assembled it looks uh, like this and these uh, top modules here or the relay itself come in various voltage options. So you have 12, 24 uh, volts, even 110 or 240 volts. So make sure you select one that is uh, 24 volt for your machine or for the power supply that you're using it with. Another component that we're using is the DIN rail. We can mount this inside the machine and the relay will actually clip onto that rail to hold it in securely. So you'll also need a uh, switch to be able to activate the relay, either 24 volt if that's the relay you've selected, so that you can turn on or off the rotary axis. You'll also need some extra wire um, of various colors so that you can keep them uh, as close to possible as you can. So when you're fault finding, you can uh, trace those wires. And I also use this uh, crimping tool set, which has got the shoelace or the ferrule connections to keep the wires secure when they're in the terminals. So this is our Y-axis uh, driver here. So this controls the uh, motors for the stepper motors for the Y-axis gantry, as well as the rotary attachment. But in order for it to uh, control the rotary attachment, first we need to disconnect this plug over here and insert the connection for the rotary attachment. Now at the other end of these wires is the uh, aviation style plug that the rotary attachment plugs into. So by connecting this to the stepper driver, the stepper drivers now controlling the y-axis rotary. Now this disconnect and reconnect procedure is not ideal because we can continue to loosen these wires, make a weak connection, and that can cause missteps on our workpiece and also cause some damage either to the plug or to the stepper driver. So we want to eliminate this uh, disconnect and reconnect all the time for the y-axis. If we zoom in here, we can see that it's already occurred on this machine where we've got some sparking and it's melted the uh, little ferrule around the um, wire there and it's causing a, uh, a loose connection or a uh, short circuit and uh, occasionally I've noticed that it will miss a step. So this is an important thing for me to actually swap over to eliminate that occurring any further. So the A plus, A minus, B plus and B minus, those four wires on the end of these plugs we're going to be removing 
and um, attaching to our new relay. Now, if they're not labeled, um, I recommend you label them or at least take a photo of the order of the wires so that you can refer to it later on if you've uh, forgotten which color was which. So do the same for both plugs, uh, label them up or uh, document it somewhere so you can refer to it and then we'll start dismantling. These pink and green wires here, that's our voltage input for our stepper driver. Now you'll notice that it's on both plugs and that's because if we disconnect this, we need to be able to power it again by the reconnection. So what we're going to be doing is just leaving one set of those wires connected and we're going to be removing the uh, A plus, B plus and the A minus and B minus connections from both of these terminals. Now I'm going to be using a wiring diagram and documentation which I'll make available and you can follow along with the connections in that documentation. Now as I mentioned we also can use this for a three phase driver but instead of having A plus B plus and uh, or the two sets of wires there we will just have the UV and W so it's just three wires instead of four but the procedure is still the same. So with the machine powered off we can uh, disconnect these wires. Now we're going to leave on this terminal block the uh, pink and the green which in this case is my uh, voltage input and ground for the uh, stepper driver. The only ones we're going to be removing are the uh, four A and B uh, wires which are the red, the blue, the uh, black and the green. And we'll do that for both of these terminals and I'm going to be replacing these terminals so that they're not broken. And um, with this one we'll label this one Y-axis gantry and this one will be y-axis rotary. So it's a good idea to label these and I've labeled this uh, set y rotary and the other set y gantry so that I don't get confused later on because the colors of the wires are the same. So I've put some new terminals on the end of this one from the uh, rotary and now I'm just going to take the ones out of the y-axis gantry and uh, check those connections. And I'll be reusing this terminal block. I'm going to leave in the power connections and we're going to make some new wires from this terminal block and that will then run off to our relay as well. So what I've done here is I've made a new set of uh, wires and these are going to be plugged into the terminal that we took off and that's going to run off to our relay. Um, but just so that you, if you are following on, I guess you do need to make a set of wires up with some connectors at each end and uh, try to keep them the same colors so it helps with fault finding however unfortunately I didn't have the right colors available to me so we just match it up with what we've got so long as you wire it correctly it's all fine so rather than show you the wiring inside the machine I thought it's easier to show you the diagram here that I've included in the documentation there's a link in the description below for that documentation so just for orientation purposes, you'll note that there's a tab on the right hand side of this diagram and that is uh, closest to terminals 13 and 14, just so that you've got it wired in the right order. So from the stepper driver, the new wires that we uh, connected to the stepper driver, we'll have those terminals, the A and B pairs, and they'll get connected to terminals 9, 10, 11 and 12. Now, to switch between the rotary and the gantry axis, on the top row I'm using the rotary axis so that when the switch is on, the rotary is active, and when the switch is off, the gantry will be active. And again, we have those pairs, the A and B pairs, and for the rotary, they get connected to terminals uh, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And the connections that you disconnected from the Y axis gantry uh, terminals, we can wire into a 1, 2, 3, and four is over on the right hand side next to the power input. So that's A plus, A minus, B plus, and B minus going off to the Y axis gantry. Now the 24 volt relay, uh, the pin number 14 or terminal 14 is positive, and that gets wired via the switch to the 24 volt power supply. And terminal 13 is the ground that also goes off to the 24 volt power supply. So what I'm going to do now is just show it laid out on the bench so that it gives you a better understanding, hopefully, of how it's going to be wired up inside your machine. In this example, I've tried to keep all the colors of the wires the same for uh, the A+, plus, A-, minus, B+, plus, and B-. minus. So I've wrote the colors that are used down here. And you can see over on our stepper driver that A+, plus is the yellow, B, A- minus is the blue, etc., as I've written down here. So from the stepper driver, it comes into the top row here, which is pin 9, 10, 11, and 12 in that order. 
and when the relay is switched it switches between either the rotary axis or the gantry motor. So keeping those in the same order we have at the back on the top pins uh, 5 through to 8 we have A plus A minus, B plus B minus. So on the bottom row we have pins 1, 2, 3 and 4 is over on the other side here next to the power input. So again we have A plus, A minus, B plus and B minus going to our Y axis gantry. Over here we have the switch so we have the ground connection in this case is the green one that goes straight off to the 24 volt power supply and the red one pin number 14 goes through the switch and then off to the 24 volt power supply. So we've installed this uh, little panel here with the switch on it we can select the gantry or the rotary. I'd probably recommend using a push button switch uh, if uh, it's going to be easily knocked. Where my machines are positioned it's not likely to be knocked. Now you still do need to um, tell the controller, in my case a Rewea controller, to enable or disable rotary in the settings uh, and uh, set up the um, circumference of your workpiece the same as you would normally. But this just eliminates the step of unplugging or decoupling and recoupling the different types of y-axis. So now we've got our setup complete, we've got the uh, selector switch on gantry and we can use the buttons on our controller to move the uh, axis up and down as you can see here. And once we've got it in position we can then switch it over to the rotary and we now have access to our rotary axis without decoupling and uh, plugging into that uh, stepper driver. So it just saves a bit of time and also uh, less wear and tear on those plugs. And as I mentioned, we can also use this on a three-phase stepper driver and motor system. So the only difference is instead of having the A and B pairs, we only have U, V and W. So the wiring is the same, except we're not using terminals 8, 12 and 4. So we can just put our U, V, W in 9, 10 and 11. And for the rotary axis, we'll go to pin or terminals 5, 6, 7. And for the Y axis gantry, pins 1, 2 and 3. The 24 volt power supply is wired exactly the same way with terminal number 14 being positive via the switch. So this is a uh, new machine where the manufacturer has installed three phase closed loop stepper drivers for the Y axis and also a, a open loop or a two phase stepper motor and driver for the rotary attachment. So that means that our three phase has the U, V and W and our two phase has the A plus, B plus, B minus. Now what we can do here, the manufacturer had a spare plug that was uh, hanging down here and you'd have to decouple the Y axis from the control board itself and plug in the corresponding axis that you want to use. Now again we're unplugging and replugging and can cause wear and tear. So instead of switching between the stepper motors and driver, we're connecting the relay between the control board and the two drivers. So in this case, I've come from the Y-axis 5 volt positive and the pulse and direction connections, and they go into the relay. And then on the top row on the opposite side, we have the positive connection, the pulse and direction going over to our rotary attachment a stepper driver and then the 5 volt pulse and direction going over to our uh, three phase stepper motor and driver. Now that's all connected via a switch and we've installed the switch up here so that when we turn it on it would switch between the rotary or the gantry motors. So we can see on the wiring diagram from the control boards Y axis connection we have a 5 volt pulse and direction they can get connected to terminals 9, 10 and 11. The rotary axis driver, the uh, 5 volt pulse and direction get connected to 5, 6 and 7. And then going off to our three phase uh, uh, gantry driver, we also have the same ones, 5 volt pulse and direction connected to 1, 2, 3. So we're still not using the uh, terminals 8, 12 and 4 in this, but we are using 13 and 14. 14 being our positive, which connects through to our little switch. So thanks for visiting MW Laser. I hope you've enjoyed this video in swapping between the Y-axis gantry and the Y-axis rotary without the need to decouple from your machine. Now, don't forget, I have provided documentation in the description below where you can uh, have a look at that and follow along for your machine. Don't forget that if you're not competent or confident or have the skills required to do this, then don't attempt it. 
Uh, the documentation and these videos do take me a lot of time to put together so that you, the YouTube community, can uh, benefit from these. So you can show your support by visiting buymeacoffee.com forward slash MWLaser. Uh, and uh, don't forget also in the description below I put links to the uh, components that I've used so that you can easily find and purchase them for yourself. Until next time, take care. Cheers.